Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today, I got a brief for you guys about the all new 2018 Corvette Zero One that was released this morning in Dubai. If you saw my video yesterday about the Corvette Zero One, I was just going over the rumors and everything that people were saying about it, what it might come with, and just the motor and different options that it might be coming with. But today, we know everything about it, so let's get into it. This year one was just released earlier today this morning on November 12th in Dubai to try to get a more global market for Chevy and GM. But today they told us everything about it. And as far as we know now, it will be available in spring. And you can see about two to 3,000 models, but everything is not 100% confirmed yet. Now with the specs on this car, it will have an LT5 like we were saying, but it will have a push rod engine instead of a dual over cam setup. And with this car will have a top speed about 210 miles per hour which is fucking fast and be a, one of the fastest production Corvettes ever made. And with this car, they will be using GM's new dual fuel injected system. And this car is set to shoot flames, which is pretty badass. So she expect something pretty fucking awesome. Now this engine will be rated at 755 horsepower and 715 pound-feet of torque. This engine will not have the same supercharger as before. It will have a way more beefed up Eaton supercharger that will be 2.9 inches taller. That has 52% more displacement as before. And since cooling has always been an issue with the Corvette, this one will be way more better equipped. It will be offered with a 7-speed manual transmission, and with an 8-speed automatic transmission, it will not be offered with a 10-speed automatic transmission as we thought it would. But this car will be coming with magnetic rock control, will be better on the corners and everything like that. The steering will be variable ratio rack and pinion with electronic assist. And this car will include 13 different heat exchangers, will help for cooling and make the car way better. This also includes four extra radiators to help for cooling too. And if you're worried about mile per gallon in this car, you'll be seeing 15.22 for a manual and 1323 for an auto. Now with the Corvette's now for the Corvette's design, I'm gonna start off with the wing that it has. It'll have two different wings depending on it'll have two different wings depending on this car will have two different wings depending on the Z2K performance pack, which I'll be talking about in a second. The regular low wing generates 70% more downforce than the regular Z06, and the high wing will generate 950 pounds of downforce. Now this car has a big wide bumper on the front with large grills that pretty much the whole front bumper that just sucks in the most air. With a nice carbon fiber hood on top that looks nice and sleek and aggressive. And this car will be coming with those star designed aggressive looking wheels. On the front, they'll be 19 by 10 and a half inches. And the rears will be 20 by 12 inches on the back. And for the stopping power on this car, it will include six piston calipers on the front that are aluminum and four piston calipers on the back that are aluminum also. And for the interior on this car, it will include leather trim seats with microtype suede leather with microtype suede material on the inside. And it will not be a standard, but it will have an option for heated and cooled seats. And for the Z2K package that I was talking about, it includes the design package and kind of beefing up the car a little bit. This will include a medium front aggressive spl splitter on the front, that includes carbon end caps on the ends, Michelin Pilot Scorp 2 tires, that are obviously only summer tires, a tuning of the chassis, and magnetic rock control for better cornering grip. And the Z2K package includes the high wing that is adjustable, but only about 5% and is not automatic. And with this car, you can get the Sebring orange design package that will include a special exterior paint. So also include orange calipers, orange stripes around the rocker panel moldings and on the splitter. And on the interior, it will include orange seatbelt and bronze aluminum trim. Now for the 2019 Corvette Zero One, it's expected to be like around 100 to 130,000 based on the all Zero One prices. So it's still not confirmed yet, but once I get that, I'll let you guys know right away. And for you people that are in the U.S. that want to see this, it'll be available at the L.A. Auto Show that is coming up. So stay tuned for that. So I hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe for more. Buy some more corporate ZR1 videos and some for other car videos about any new car and vlogs, anything like that, anything to do with cars. So yeah, make sure you smash that like. So yeah, make sure you smash that like button. I'll see you guys next time.